Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing Darth Nihilus. So, yeah, because it's Star Wars week on my channel, I want to do five videos. It's going to look like it's going to be four, but whatever. We're going to do this. So, to start off, I just started drawing on his mask. Just leaving out spaces where things are going to be either done in black or have a different color to it. Um, just to give myself a guideline because I haven't done this in a while and I really needed something to go on. Didn't feel like winging it. Even though this wasn't exactly like the hardest thing I've ever done, I still wanted it to look good, you know? And then for the eye parts, I did go a little bit higher than an eye hole for a mask normally would be and that is because I didn't want to block out my eyebrows or like attempt to hide them with white body paint because I have really thick brows and they're really dark and it never actually works out completely well so just did that to make my life a little bit easier and then I went around the rest of the face with some white body paint to complete my outline and he also has a couple markings above the eye holes so I just kind of left those there and then painted everything else black basically any skin that's going to be exposed that you don't want to technically be seen because let's be real if you look at any picture of him with his mask on you can't see anything except his mask kind of you know it works with what we're going for now be careful around the edges um, you do want them to be precise so if you have to go over with a smaller brush or one with like a flatter angle angle a flatter side then do it just try to be neat with it because it's very hard to do it with kind of like a fatter brush i would say and also don't forget your ears i haven't said that in a long time and then I went over the actual mask part with a just like a three-quarter inch brush, um, nothing too special, just flat. And I wanted the edges to be sharp is not the word that I'm looking for, but it's the one I'm going to use um, just to make sure that the edges of everything else are sharp, so that way you know it looks more realistic. Because that's kind of what we're going for here. Now, if you are going to be doing the shading like I did, you don't have to worry so much about it being completely opaque on the sides. If you're not, and you're doing it more as like a cosplay for a convention or something, you want to try to get it as opaque as possible. inner part I just really started drawing everything in as far as the shapes go and then kind of adding details as I went along I figured that would be the easiest way to do it um, just going in adding some shadows around and then adding some highlights later on um, and then kind of adjusting it as I went to make it look more realistic because with these you might think doing it one way would work but then when you actually see it it might not be looking the way you want it to so don't ever be afraid to go back in and adjust what you've already done I mean it, it's body paint like it's not like you're stuck with it forever and also remember anything that you shadow you're gonna want to highlight um, the opposite way because it makes it look more realistic let's be real anything in real life has a shadow and a highlight Maybe not necessarily one you can see from space, but it's still got one. And with the picture that I saw, you can see little bits of shadow for, or like around his chin and his, his nose. Then I went in with some gray body paint just around the edges and kind of like flicked it around. I used almost a dry brush. There was very, very little water on it. Um, and then I just made sure that the darkest part of the shadow was going to be closer to the edge. And later on I just went in with my finger and just blended it out a little bit more. Um, and then with the red body paint, 
which I really should have seen this coming, but when you put red on top of white, it makes pink. So I just had to go over a couple times to get like a brighter red. It wasn't exactly red red, but hey, it still worked. I also went in with some of that red over um, some highlighted spots just to make it look more like grrr. That did not make sense whatsoever, but you know what I mean. Then I did some last minute adjustments while I was watching whatever I was watching. Probably, uh, what was it? I already forgot. Jessica Jones. Probably gonna do a video on her later. And then I just filled in the rest of my eyeballs. Now for the, the headgear, I really should have grabbed some, uh, pipe cleaners and some masking tape, but this works too. That is the tutorial, so I hope you guys liked it. I definitely had a lot of fun doing it. And I have some more stuff coming up for you guys later this week. But if you want to learn more about Darth Nihilus, check out my blog, noblemakeup.com, which will be linked down at the bottom, along with all the products used, all that other stuff. Yeah. And if you guys have any ideas for future videos, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye!